Okay, I've arrived here in Berlin for the 2019 World Money Fair and uh, it's a bit of a baptism of, of cold. We've gone from 40 plus degree heat in Melbourne and um, and if you can really see here, but uh, it's actually snowing. I'm standing here at the Brandenburg Gate in the snow and it is freezing cold. So we're here, as I said, for the World Money Fair. Um, it's a gathering every year of all the major dealers and wholesalers, manufacturers um, of everything money related. So there's, there's um, people who make presses for the mints. Um, there's dealers from all over Europe come here. There's uh, the uh, Perth mints here, uh, the Royal Australian mints here. Uh, a lot of the US mints are here. Both the private and the, uh, and the government owned mints are all in Germany today <coughs> for this weekend for the World Money Fair. So I'll bring you more when we get to the Money Fair, but I just thought we'd like an introduction and see what it's like in Berlin. And let me tell you, it is freezing. All right, this is the Estrell Hotel and Conference Centre. This is where the uh, 2019 Berlin World Money Fair is being held. So this is what the entryway looks like. You can see that's the ticket stand there. And then over there, is the entryway through to the World Money Fair. Now it's massive. Um, it goes through corridors and and rooms and um, there's, there's all sorts of people and, and places in there. So I'll wander through with the camera. Um, I don't know how much we'll stop and, and look at because there's only so many um, stands that you can see or that you want to see. So we'll just scroll through. I'm going to pause the uh, video here and then I'll start it again when I'm on the other side. This is one of the small rooms on the way through to the big room. And you can see here a level of Perth Mint products that are just on every stand. I was sure they were going to do more. And this is just another hallway through to the main auditorium. And this is a landing through to the main auditorium. So they have these bullion dealers and coin dealers and you can see this one's notes dealers. And they're just all spread through here. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And again, this is another room full and it's still not the main auditorium. Now, an interesting thing that is at this show is these zero euro notes. And uh, so they have no value at all, but they're euro notes, official euro notes. And they have stacks of different types and they're incredibly popular and lots and lots of people are buying them. But they're backed by nothing and they have no value, but they're charging for them. And they're uh, becoming real collector's items over here from what we understand. Okay, so this is entering the main auditorium. I've been through several of those rooms and halls and that with dealers in it just to get through to this main auditorium and I really don't know how to give you an idea of, of the size of it um, so you can actually see um, the Perth Mint display over there and we'll wander over there in a minute but there's, there's rows of all the mints from all over the world um, some of them are private mints, some of them are government mints. Um, there's lots of dealers here um, producing all sorts of different products 
for the uh, for the money industry. So you can see that's a bit of a bit of a plan of the auditorium. So you can see how many are there, and then over on this side you can see a list of all the all the exhibitors. So there's quite a number of exhibitors from all over the world, and they're bringing in just some some of the coins here are just stunning. Um, absolutely stunning and we've had our we've actually had a meeting with uh, with the guys from Perth Mint um, we just came out from there and there's some really exciting stuff that Perth Mint are doing um, coming up later on this year so we're uh, looking forward to ah, that's the new Simpsons coin that they're just released You can see their displays there. Quite an impressive stand. So what I might do, like I said, I really can't give you an idea of how big this is just by wandering around and how many people are here. But what I might do is I'll, I'll turn this off now and we'll continue around with the displays. Um, and then I might give a report at the end of it all. Hi guys, Michael from Little Coin Shop and Bullion Now. Back again, obviously uh, not at the coin fair anymore. You can tell by the background here, I'm back in the hotel room. Um, we did shoot some more footage out at the coin fair, but it started to get a little bit difficult because some of the, um, some of the stands out there, um, they didn't want us filming. Um, even catching them in the background because they were displaying products that were still under embargo, hadn't been released to the general public yet. So they didn't want the images coming out um, on YouTube uh, before their release date. And also some of them were concerned about security because there is many, many millions of dollars worth of coins here on display for, for the three days that the, um, that the money fair is open for. So... Some of the stands were quite happy for us to film, but it, it started to become difficult um, because of the uh, stands in the background. Um, we had to start watching what was in the background. So in the end, I decided that um, I'd just draw a line under it. Um, there's only so many uh, coin shops, coin stalls that you can look at. Um, I hope I gave you the impression of the size because it is quite massive. You You move from... Um, room to room um, and hallway and that's on the way to the main hall and each room has anywhere between half a dozen to a dozen coin dealers in it at least um, some of the bigger rooms on the way obviously had you know anything up to about two dozen dealers in there um, possibly more actually a few of them so it's it's a very large operation here um, it's it's amazing. There's, there's no other word for it. There is every coin dealer under the sun um, from Europe. Not that there's much sun at the moment. It's freezing over here. Um, but there's lots of the major coin dealers are here from around Europe. Um, a lot of the mints are here. Um, the US mints here. Um, Perth mints here. Royal Australian mints here. Um, the Greek mint is here. Um, a lot of private mints are here, um, like very large ones. Um, from around the world, um, anything you could want in the coin supply uh, side. So um, whether you you wanted to make your own coins, there's there's um, press manufacturers here, uh, lighthouses here um, with all their uh, capsules and, and and things like that. Um, so everyone who's anyone in the money industry from the numismatic or bullion side of it is here, um, and I would challenge you to find a coin that is not on display here from anywhere around the world. Um, about the only one I couldn't find today um, as I wandered around and talked to people was the, 19, the Australian 1930 penny, which obviously is, is quite rare. Um, but it was one of the few rarities that I noticed was absent. Um, having said that, I didn't ask everyone, so maybe someone had it stashed down the back. Um, but the the displays of um, coins from all over the world. I've never seen so many uh, American eagles um, over various generations, various years, uh, in one spot. It was it's huge, and it's not just one stall that's got them. It, 
there's there's a dozen stalls um, and then you move into the next room and and there's more um, some of the Perth mint series that I haven't seen for years you know that released 10 or 15 years ago um, you know are, are here um, the the lunars and the kookaburras that I've seen are here this weekend huge um, and, and quite reasonably priced if I might add um, and if you didn't like the price, you just move to the next stand, and invariably, they would match or, or, or beat the price that you've you've been offered. So, um, really, really amazing. If you ever get chance to be in Berlin at this time of year, whether you live in Europe or or elsewhere in the world, if you manage to get along to the uh, 2020 now um, World Money Fair in Berlin, um, I can only strongly encourage you to go. It's an amazing experience for anyone who has an interest in in um, the, the collecting side of, of coins. Um, the other thing, there's a couple of things, many things actually. Um, one of the things that I found amazing was um, a series that we don't see in Australia, or I've never seen in Australia. Um, it's a, a Euro note, um, and I should have bought one to, to demonstrate it, but uh, I, I didn't. I was too busy with other things. Um, and I might see if I can get a, an example of one and, and slide it into this presentation. But they're a zero value uh, euro note and they released them from various places. They actually had one for the Berlin Fair today. Um, and they, the initial issue costs two to three euro for it. Um, and then obviously some of the others have become collector's items. So they're up anywhere up to 40 or 50 euro for a note. Um, they've released them for the, the Winter Olympics. Um, in various towns and, and, and countries around the Eurozone and things like that. But what, what really interested me was um, the fact that you have a fiat currency that is backed by nothing. Um, we all kind of know what a fiat currency is, and the, and the euro is a fiat currency. It's not backed by gold or silver or anything along those sort of lines. But this kind of takes it to the next level. It's a fiat currency of no value that is backed by nothing. And people were fighting over these things. So it's um, an interesting concept. Um, the other thing that, that uh, you get when you're here as a dealer particularly is you get to meet um, and sit down and talk to a lot of the mints that you, you just don't get to do in everyday life um, when, you're, when you're back home. Um, surprisingly, 60 to 70% of my appointments and meetings over here with the various mints have been with either Australians or Kiwis. So it's quite funny that I have to travel to the other side of the world to, to catch up with them. But it just seems to be the, the nature of the beast. So um, it, was, it was really, really good. And had, uh, had some very productive conversations. Um, there's uh, some new, quite exciting announcements coming down the line um, from people such as the Royal Australian Mint um, and the Perth Mint. Um, in particular, and the New Zealand Mint has some um, very, very um, beautiful stuff coming out over the, the next 12 months. So um, keep your eye out for those. We've also um, talked to some of the um, some of the bullion manufacturers. So um, expect to see some different um, bullion items being stocked by bullion now in the not too distant future. Um, we're hoping we've even negotiated some exclusivities, which would be nice. But uh, we'll see what happens on that one. So it um, will appeal, it will be a bullion product, um, but it will be um, possibly something slightly unusual um, and only available through us. So we'll see what happens. It may not come to anything or it may. So we'll see as we go on. The other thing I wanted to mention um, particularly was the Perth Mint. Um, the meeting I had with with the guys from the Perth Mint, um, I actually had several, so I ran into them several times, but uh, sat down with them today. Um, a lot of, funnily enough, a lot of meetings uh, with the dealers and that occur um, prior to the start of the uh, of the uh, money fair. So the money fair starts on a Friday and runs through to Sunday. But um, any time from about the Monday through to the Friday, um, I know Perth Mint was having meetings every half an hour for the five days. Uh, and the poor guys there, they were looking pretty exhausted. Um, so, um, you know, that's that's not uncommon. So there's a lot of meetings going along for the whole week, particularly for the dealers and the manufacturers and, and the suppliers and that sort of stuff. But uh, the meeting we had with um, with Perth Mint today, um, it showed, it highlighted how much they actually support um, the Australian bullion collector. 
Um, quite often in Australia, we get a bit narky with the Perth Mint because they do export a lot of their product overseas. Um, Australia, we forget how small the Australian market is compared to particularly the German market, but even the European market and obviously the US market. Um, I, I seem to remember someone saying that uh, Germany takes 50% of the uh, Perth Mint um, products. Um, I, I may stand corrected on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that was what was said at the meeting the other night. Um, so huge numbers, massive numbers. So sometimes we feel a bit uh, jaded in Australia um, and that the Perth Mint kind of uh, pushes aside and, and supplies their bigger markets overseas. But they've, um, they are starting to focus back on Australia um, and they, uh, they are supporting things like, uh, as some of you will know or will have heard of, of the um, forum uh, Silver Stackers. Um, which I'm involved in, and uh, Captain Kookaburra, uh, someone you know, uh, is involved in. Um, and they supplied some um, some products to use as uh, door prizes um, to encourage people along um, to the uh, to the next couple of um, Silver Stacker meetings. So we've uh, got a door prize. Um, it's a uh, it's a coin. It's a new release coin. I'm not going to open the bag yet. You're going to have to turn up on the uh, on the Brisbane Silver Stackers meeting um, to find out what it is. And some person there will be lucky enough to take this home um, because it's been sponsored. Um, the door prize is sponsored by the Perth Mint. So they're, they're starting to do things like that. They're recognising um, and trying to support the, uh, the collector community in, in Australia, which was really refreshing and really good to see. And they gave us some, uh, some other freebies. Uh, I'm quite excited by this one. It's a, a Duff Beer Mint dispenser so quite a little collector's item i think that one um and they weren't the only ones giving away uh freebies um this was uh, i think this was the greek mint yes it is so the greek mint was giving away um free samples of their products i'm suspecting it's not gold but i haven't run it through the xrf yet to find out but uh it's good you get to see a lot of their products and and um and what they're bringing out so Look, I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show more of the uh, of the conference itself, the fair. Um, but like I said, security issues and people's reluctance to, to have their um, embargoed products on film and released to YouTube um, well before the, the, their selected dates um, prevented us being able to do that. So we'll respect their requests. Um, I completely understand where they're coming from. And I can only encourage you... Um, if you get chance to attend the uh, the World Money Fair um, in Berlin, um, if you're a, a bullion or a coin collector in any form, it just it's just amazing. It will give you a whole new perspective on on what's out there. Um, you know, there's just it's it's there's no words for it until you've experienced it. It's, it, it really is just amazing, um, and it's good to see that the uh, the hobby the the um, the collectors, the the belief in bullion and and in numismatics is is still very much there and growing strongly. There was a lot of sometimes you think, particularly when you're in a shop, you think it's it's older people, um, little old men coming in. But uh, a lot of the conference today was um, quite young people um, coming through all sorts of interesting coins. So really good to see. Um, so some of the uh, some of the news we'll release as we can that we've um, found out. Uh, I had a, a very good conversation with Perth Mint about their um, Series Three Lunar um, that they release uh, August September on uh, this year. It's the start, the end of um, Series Two Lunar is this year, and um, the start of Series Three is released in about August September um, of this year. And there's some really really exciting changes. Um, I'm not going to jump the gun. Um, yet I'll wait till uh, Perth Mint give us the OK, but stick around, subscribe to our channel and uh, you'll be one of the first to hear about the changes that um, uh, Perth Mint's making and the exciting releases that they're coming out with. So that's about it um, from me at Bullion Now and, um, and Little Coin Shop. Um, if you've got any questions or comments you want to make, just uh, sign them in below and uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, I'll see you next time.